welcome viewers to the first episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. The purpose of this channel is to help you prepare for your exams. Now to help you gain that confidence, we have a companion app that I urge you to download. You see it in the link below. The app has called Past Papers Based quizzes and also you'll be able to find the actual past papers in the hub. The difference between those who get 6 points and those who get above 20 points is in practice. Practice makes it permanent. So download the app. They are timed quizzes based on the past papers. In For each subject to be able to find over 400 questions with detailed explanations such that you will be testing yourself test as much as possible so that you know how late you are for you to light the exam so let me look at question 1a x plus 2 over 3m minus 2 minus 1 over 2m minus 3 as a single fraction in each lowest terms so this is a question that always comes so is the matter of understanding the tricks so now as I answer this question I'm going to give you the tricks that you need to pay attention to once I master that then this question becomes a giveaway question so the first thing is they are testing your ability to work with negative numbers that's the purpose of this question that's all and also your ability to identify the common denominators. So once we are given like this, you notice that we have 3m minus 2 as the denominator of 2, then we have 2m minus 3 as the denominator of 1. So you notice that there is nothing that can go in these two at the same time other than 1. So if there is nothing that can do that, then next step is just multiply these two as the common denominator like this once you do that then you are almost in there then the next thing that you need to start doing is now this one 3m minus 2 into the entire multiplication of these two what am I going to get I'm going to get this one and this one will cancel so I'm going to remain with this that's the principle so because I'm going to remain with that so what do I do I'll light what is on top which is 2 so it will be 2 multiplied by the quotient that I'm getting so it will be 2m minus 3 then wash out for this part negative and 1 that's the part that you need to wash out for so it will be negative 1 the way it is. So it's negative 1 times 1 which is negative 1. Light it the way it is. Then again, this whole thing into this one. You notice that this and this one cancel because they are the same. Because we are dividing. So I'm going to remain with this. So what I'm going to do now is it will be 3m now minus 2 like this. So take note of these things that you need to pay attention to. At this point just now expanding. So we are going to have 2 times 2m it will be 4m then it will be 2 multiplied by negative 3 it will be minus 6. Pay attention to this part. Then next I'm going to use a different color so in here I'm going to use red so I do distinguish the two so it will be negative 1 times 3m so it will be minus 3m then negative 1 times negative 2 so negative times negative is a positive so this becomes now positive 2 so if you can get to this point then you are good to go this is where a lot of people mess up then you multiply by 2m minus 3 like this then just to simplify what is on top so it will be 4m minus, you are getting this negative 3m because they are like, so negative 3 goes within next to 4m because they are like terms. 
then we have negative 6 and then plus 2 so it will be minus 6 then plus 2 then over 3m minus 2 multiply by 2m minus 3 then simplifying this we end up with him 4m minus 3m is m negative 6 plus 2 it's negative 4 over 3m minus 2 then multiply by 2m minus 3 once you do that you are good to go and you get these three marks then question b leads solve the equation 3x square plus 13x minus 7 equals to 0 giving your answers correct to two decimal places so the moment we are giving your answer to two decimal places you know that we have to use the standard quadratic equation formula which is given by this given that we have a function ax square plus bx plus c equals zero from here we can see that this is the equation which is 3x square plus 13x minus 7 equals 0. This is the quadratic equation. So when you're given any quadratic equation, you can solve any equation just by using this formula, which is minus b plus or minus then b square minus 4ac over 2a. So you notice that from here, a is 3, b is 13, c is negative 7. So it's just a matter of substituting. So we have x is equal to minus 13 plus or minus the square root of b square, which is 13 square minus 4. What is a? 3. What is c? Negative 7 then divide by 2 times 3. The beauty with this formula, you can solve any equation without any difficulties. Then expanding this, we have x is equal to minus 13 plus or minus over 6. Then we have 13 square is 169 negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 times negative 7 is positive 84 then we have x is equal to minus 13 plus or minus if you have your calculator you use your calculator which is in this case required that you use your calculator we have 2 5 3 divide by 6 so meaning x is equal to minus 13 plus or, or minus the square root of 2 53 is 15.9057 divided by 6 it's important that you maintain maybe 4 or 5 decimal places because you are required to round off your answer to 2 decimal places so at this point I've got 2 values of x so let me go to a bigger space so the first value of x which is x1 will equal to negative 13 plus 15.90597 divided by 6 or minus 13 minus so when we are now separating these two positive or negative so that we get two separate answers so now we have 15.90597 over 6. So we have x1 is equal to now. The difference between these two is 2.90597. Then divide by 6. I'm going to get x1 is equal to, to 2 decimal places 0 0.48. Then x2 will equal to or just say or x is equal to minus 28 
0.90597 over 6 which will give me negative 4.82 once you do this you are good to go and you get the 5 marks so you have these 5 marks plus 3 marks which is 8 marks so just pay particular attention for the first question to the signs the second question which is always comes the quadratic equations just identify once you can identify a b and c easily then this should be a giveaway question thank you for watching please check on the link below to download the app and have access to materials that will help you to haste your exams